Greetings Otakus, this is Aiden Brown for East Strange Dot Matrix. In this video, well, I have no idea where this video is going right now at the moment, but I did just want to talk about uh, the, the anime Hunter Hunter. Now, I've seen plenty of anime, that's right, that's what you're supposed to pronounce it here, once it's anime and manga, but it's actually anime manga. I've seen plenty of anime, and um, Hunter Hunter is definitely easily worked his way up into one of my favorites for several reasons. Uh, main one, one of the main ones being is that everybody, everybody on the show is some type of master strategist of some sort. Like, I've even went on Twitter, uh, and compared it to Pokemon, and a lot of people looked at me like I'm crazy. They're like, well, there's a reason behind that. Pokemon, the game anyway, uh, the anime doesn't really reflect it as much, but the game itself, if you ever uh, play in the competitive portion of Pokemon or play it competitively, you know there's a lot of strategies, a lot of Hunter Hunter type strategies popping up where, you know, everyone just had these awesome over the top strategies. Like, one example where I compared it to Pokemon would be like, the battle with Natiri versus Miriam, uh, or the Chimera Ant King, I believe his name is Miriam, where he used miniature rows on him. Now, we thought the explosion was the only thing, yet you see at the end of that story arc, Miriam actually dies from poison. So the explosion was basically just a farce. It was just there to, hey, if this doesn't take you out, the poison effects will linger on and you'll faint later. And anyone who's played the Pokemon games know that sometimes you will beat a gym leader or you will beat a trainer and then you will faint from poison right before you get into the gym leader and lose. So that's where I get the Pokemon comparison from. So I said, yeah, I'll be a darker, grittier, more mature version of it. The battle system really reminds me of Pokemon itself because you never know what's going to happen. You'll think one guy's winning and they'll be like, oh no, I was setting you up the whole time. You didn't even realize you were poisoned. Or, um, in one of the more recent episodes, they killed one of my favorite characters, Goto, who was, uh, Kilo's butler, and Hisoka was fighting Goto, and it was basically just, uh, he used his bungee, uh, I believe it's called bungee gum is what he calls his ability, if I'm not mistaken. He used that ability while fighting Goto, who, you know, thumps off the coins off his fingers and everything, and it was just there to distract him, and he would drop down from the tree and just slit his throat with the cards. And I'm like, whoa. It, it like the way it works when someone dies on the show, it just happens fast. And I'm like, at the expense of sounding silly, it's the most realistic as far as the fight goes with anime. Like, if you look at something like Dragon Ball Z, you see Goku screaming and blowing up a mountain and stuff. Yet he's never just punched anybody and their whole head just twisted to the side and, and fell off or they exploded. I mean, if you're that strong, somebody should pop like a balloon when you hit him at some point, Goku. Meanwhile, Hunter Hunter, you'll see people that you know are strong and you will literally see people get punched and their whole head twist over and their neck twist or they'll hit somebody and they'll explode. Like, it's, it's gory, but it makes sense. And the fights, and sometimes the fights don't even last like a whole episode and you're not watching it for the fights. It's more the suspense and the thrill. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, again, that Goto versus Hisoka fight in one of the more recent episodes, it happened so fast that I didn't even have time to be shocked. By the fact that Goto just got his neck slit, and I'm like, oh crap, Goto's dead, and Canary doesn't know anything about it because she's talking about she's gonna go back to Goto. And I'm like, yeah, that's the way it happens on there. Like, someone could just die quickly. Like, One Piece is one of my favorites, but you'll see on One Piece where Usopp will take a bat to the face in an explosion to survive, even though he's a normal human, supposedly. Like, on One Piece, you'll see people get hit by all kinds of things that should kill them. And then when Ace finally dies, they call, you know, it's a big scene that slows down. You see Luffy freak out and he he faints and everything. They call it a big scene. But, um, you know, on Hunter Hunter, someone will just die and just keep the show going. And the breakdown moment is not in that scene. The breakdown moment is like when one of their loved ones or friends find out about them later. And then they're like, oh, shoot, he's dead. And then there's the breakdown. So it does a really good job of, it re does a really good job of creating what I would call a realistic anime world. Because if these type of things happened in real life, I think they would happen the way they do in Hunter x Hunter. Like, it would just be fast. It wouldn't be all drawn out. It would just be fast and quick. And everyone would just be these master strategists because they know how their powers work. Like, I almost wish there was a game like Hunter x Hunter. And again, even though I competitive to Pokemon, what I mean, like, I wish there was a game like Hunter x Hunter, I almost wish that it was like 
you know, a game like that, whereas you have a boss battle where they can stack up abilities and one shot kill you with one attack. And at the same time, you can stack up abilities and one shot kill them with one attack. So basically, you know, a game where you can potentially defeat any boss within two turns or one if you stack your abilities right and know what they're capable of doing, which is what they do on Hunter x Hunter. They're like, okay, I know he's capable of this. I know he can do that. So if I do this just right, then I can take him out within 30 seconds of showtime. Bam, and it's over. So I would I would love something like that to happen in a game, but I highly doubt they'd ever do it. But yeah, I think I've rumbled on a bit too much already. But uh, long story short, yes, Hunter Hunter has easily worked his way up into one of my favorite anime of all time. If you have not watched Hunter Hunter, what's wrong with you? Until next time, this is AW Brawler for Each Strange Matrix saying be you, be true, be human. AW Brawler.